questioning the air quality in your child's school. CTV News requested a detailed report on what students and staff are breathing every day. Our investigation concerns Toronto's public school board, both elementary and high schools. CTV's Naomi Parnas is working on this story tonight. Naomi, you found carbon dioxide levels are an issue in some classrooms. They are. If you've ever had a child that comes home from school complaining of a headache, that could be the reason. The levels are higher than recommended in some Toronto classrooms. Some kids have a difficult enough time focusing in class, but new numbers obtained by CTV News show poor air quality in Toronto public schools could contribute to a lack of focus and cause sleepiness and headaches. Air quality tests done over the last five years by the Toronto District School Board reveal through a Freedom of Information request show elevated carbon dioxide levels in some classes. It's, it's a chronic problem. The union representing Toronto's high school teacher says its members complain daily about poor air quality. It's certainly not acceptable for the students, the children that are growing and developing that have to, to sit there for hours. According to Toronto Public Health, carbon dioxide in most offices and classrooms should be between 800 to 1,000 parts per million, or PPMs. Levels above that are not unsafe, but they're not considered optimal for learning. Leaside High School tops the list for elevated numbers. Tests show several classes in the school were above 1,000 ppm and two rooms measured above 2,400. Milne Valley Middle School had two classes above 2,000 ppms. Almost 50 schools tested had levels above 1,000 ppms. A researcher out of California has studied the effects of these numbers and says there is proof poor air quality affects cognitive abilities. People should want their schools to be better ventilated because of the evidence that low ventilation rate is associated with adverse outcomes. Chemical levels are low, below. As a comparison, we tested the levels in the CTV newsroom. They measured between 600 to 800 ppm's. Safe Air has been testing air quality for 17 years and says the numbers found in some classes could lead to problems. Some kids can get migraine headaches, um, can get behavioral issues as well. The board maintains its classrooms are safe. It says carbon dioxide is merely an indicator there's a ventilation issue, which can usually be fixed by opening a window or repairing equipment. This could be anything from exhaust fans to block chimneys. That could be one day where the test was done and it was fixed that very day and the air quality returned to normal. The board only tests schools based on complaints. Out of about 600 aging schools, only 106 have been tested over the last five years. Now, after repairs, some of the levels did go down, but half of the schools didn't even have a follow-up. The union says these numbers are proof more regular testing needs to be done to ensure Toronto students are learning in the best environment possible. Reporting live, I'm Naomi Parnas. Now back to the desk.